well, since I'm going through it, I figured I may as well show you guys what's on the upper route here, because, well, I forgot something. If you take the upper route in this section after you get the, uh, the one part in this stage, check it out! Remember this mini-boss? That's right! It shows up here if you take the upper route instead of the lower route like what I did. So yeah, there's a little something to show off because I accidentally came from there before. Just a heads up. Okay, let's get back to the real meat of the episode there. Just for reference, here are all the parts and ways I've equipped them. I got the Hyper Dash and the Buster Plus 2 for X. And I got the Barrier Extender along with the Saber Plus 2 and the Ultimate Saber for Zero. And they're both upgraded pretty much exactly the same. All heart tanks, all ar four heart tanks each, all armor parts. And while they both have a sub tank, they're not two sub tanks, which could be useful, all things considered. In case you're wondering why I decided to start here, well, because. I just felt like it, okay? And well, Zero is a monster. See, with all this plus stuff, oh! I'm so happy I have all this. I'm more than prepared for the rest of this now. I wanted to start from here because, well, there's something I need to show you before we go forward. Because I forgot to mention it. But hey, welcome back, everybody, to the finale of Let's Play Mega Man Extreme 2. This is your host, the MJ406. And, well, I only have four of the weapons now because those are the last four I got with zero. Like, I got the first four with X. Notice something! Hey! I see Sigma's face there. Hmm. I wonder what it could mean. Oh, come on, are you that dense? Anyway, depending on who you enter the stage with, you'll get a cutscene. I just want you to this part. I'm gonna leave both your souls. Just keep in mind, if you want to get absolutely everything in the extreme playthrough, just remember, somebody has something to find on their route because Shotokan. So, if you want to get absolutely everything to feel your ultimate power, well, you better get it with, uh, do this part with X then. But don't worry, if you head near zero, you think, oh no, I'm going to go force you on zero's route. Don't worry. Switch over to X. They'll do X's cutscene here. Back up, boys. Be quiet! Yeah, very cute, you and your angry. I didn't take Reploid's life for no reason. The sacrifice is helping to make us stronger. How dare you? This is no excuse! It is pointless talking with you here. Why don't you come to Garrus or my room so that we can relax and talk? My room's above here while Garrus is below. The decision's up to you. Zero, it's better for us to separate here! Roger that. See you later, Zero, and good luck! See, it only matters which character you are when you get there. Which route you go on. I'm coming for you, Burkana! Just remember that X's route has the Shotokan moves. So if you want to get those, you better come here with X. But see, I equally balance everybody. I have the parts I want them to have. Because of, well, things, Hyper Dash is more useful for X. And his Buster Plus will make him stronger. While the Zero, well... He has the Barrier Extender, so he can survive hits longer. And, well... Ah! No! Oh, I should have gone out sooner. I'm an idiot. Well, you'll see. Basically, you can probably take a guess as to what's going to happen. Seeing as Sigma's icon showed up on this Fortress stage select for some reason... What's he gonna do? Just take over the fight we have instead? Surprisingly, no. You're going through these stages, they're having their natural conclusion of that boss fight you fought before, but, well, you'll see as I make my way through exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> Just, you know, play these stages as you have before. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Upsetting! No! Come on, I wanted to do this quickly because the end of the game could take a while. That's why I skipped most of this, too. Believe me, I want to throw more of the uh, extreme mode playthrough because of some of the differences, the bosses having new moves. And that mini boss in Blast Hornet stage, two of them light up at once, those little things that shoot the balls instead of just one at a time. Make it a little more deadly, but also easier to kill them all. It's nice that there are actually differences in the way Extreme Mode plays compared to the rest of the modes, which, again, appreciated. Because, you know, it makes replays actually feel worthwhile. Especially the Extreme Mode one. 
But, you know, if you want to see all the endings, you're better just do both the missions and then do Extreme. Instead of, you know, buying Extreme from just grinding a bunch of DNA souls from one of the two missions. Man, thank goodness there's Hyper Dash. Well, I'll just say this. If I die from this point forward, after I get this, of course, I'm going to go to Zero's route instead, because I have an easier time with that route, apparently. Oh, you bitch. Okay, there we go. Shotokan. And like I said, only X can get this. Zero cannot. Well, you can't swap to, swap to Zero anyway, obviously. Also to mention, the capsules are Zero and X. The other character cannot activate the capsule meant for one character. So, you know, if you go to X's capsules with Zero, they won't even turn on and they won't give you anything. So, yeah. Just a heads up. All right, did I show the Hadouken? I better make sure. Can't. Yep, Hadouken. And sure you can. Hey ya! Hmm, do you have to beat absolute full charge or Okay, yeah, absolute full charge. Got it. Well, let's try for Conan, see if I survive. Which I should. And also I have two full E tanks. That's something I never mentioned through the extreme games. It's nice the save files actually save how much your E tanks are filled up. That is also greatly appreciated. So you don't have to grind filling them up every time you start the file back up. Finally, they did something right there. Finally, we are alone. Release the DNA souls of the Reploids. I admire his speeches, but now, allow me to test the result of my experiment on you. Let me see who is the strongest Reploid. This is my final experiment. And well, you don't stand a chance against me, bitch. You can also destroy her attack. Oh, God, B! Oh, no! Oh, why is it attacking me the other way? Yeah, see, I can't fire... I can't fire my my weapon now, so... Yeah, that sucks. But like I said, if I die fighting her, then I'm just gonna go to Gareth's route instead. So you gotta see what her B-button attack does. Whoa. So yeah, you don't want to deal with that. I hated it. Oh no. So yeah, don't let her disable your inputs. It basically puts you in a death trap. Never fun. Never ever fun. Oh, never mind. I should probably die before I do the next stage. Oh yeah, spoiler warning. We beat Burkana, so that's the end of it. Uh-uh-uh. That's why I started up here. You beat the last stage, and well... Huh. Okay, we beat Burkana. Oh. Sigma. Well, excuse me for a second. I need to lose this last life real quick. Because this is useless. Also, yeah. This is zero on... This is X on the ride chaser. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. Moving on. And there we go. I got two lives now. Awesome. So, yeah. I'll just tell you this. The last part I can't unlock here. You need 3,000 to buy it but you need 4,000 DNA souls on hand to unlock it. This is the mode you'll get for beating Extreme Mode. I'll just let you know that now. But now, let's go over what has changed in Extreme Mode, basically. Extra stay. And let me tell you, it's a doozy. So, let's go to Sigma Space. And, well, 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 well. <laughs> you are the ones who made that noise. Sigma! But this time, I have to thank you for doing that. Actually, Burkana went too far. Although, she did help me by keeping me entertained for a while. Hehehe. <laughs> it was you who started the incident, Sigma! Of course. Now is not the time for talk. Now is the time to destroy! What? You know, that I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> oh, that's what he meant. Destroyed, okay. How dare you! <laughs> Go for it! <laughs> I'll be waiting for you! <laughs> it is time to destroy! <laughs> yes! Yes, more awful grammar, I love it! So, yep! Turns out Sigma was behind everything! Forgot it went too far! Weren't you trying to kill all the Reploids too? What do you mean she went too far? I call bullcrap! No way that was your intention. But anyway, yup. It's time for Sigma. 
So, well, one last stage of hell to go through, with treacherous platforming and the like, and annoying enemies in your way. And, well, what would the end of game be without a boss rush, of course? Uh, you know the drill. Let's fight them and beat them all up. Time to look up for weaknesses. Which makes me wonder what some of these weaknesses are. Um, I wonder. Eh? Oh, God. Right. Yeah. Eh? Huh. Oh, right. By the way... Oh, wait, never mind. I don't have the ability. <laughs> I was going to say, what the hell happened? I don't know if I have the abilities now. Okay. That might be his weakness. Honestly, only go after the weaknesses if you feel like it. Again, the freaking the Saber Plus and the beat Foster Plus will help you out more than you need them to. We'll be able to go over the weaknesses later because, well... Again, just like a Mega Man X4, the way Zero looks for weaknesses and bosses doesn't always work out. So, really, you're just gunning it with Zero. You might have the weakness, you might not. So, you know, either way, just use your saber and do work. So, look, now Overdrive Ostrich will do that, and one of those will stick around to chase you down like he normally does when he summons one. Oh my god, Zero! Dude! He is just wrecking house. Also, I like his wall jump animation. Wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Every, he just keeps lifting his arms up repeatedly. But yeah, boss rush. If you've got saber plus two and ultimate saber with zero, this boss rush is a freaking joke. Like, look at this pathetic display. Oh, right, that's Pop, that's a uh, Blast Hornet's new attack. Can summon hornets to follow you from the middle of nowhere instead of spitting them out. Okay, that's two boss new attacks. Let's go after a uh, one from one of X's. You know what? I better fight this with X because it's easier that way. Let me see here. Wouldn't these be his weakness by a chance? Eh, it looks like it'd be Tri Thunder, but it doesn't do that much damage. Fire away, perhaps? Don't die to it, you frickin' bastard! Ah. Uh, oh, wait, maybe it's this. No, huh, don't have your weakness. Okay, good to know. Then again, if I use his weakness on him, I would notice. Because he actually has a reaction, I think. See, look, your buster does better damage to him anyway than the other special weapons I have. Alright, we don't get to see your new attack. It's basically his attack from X3. He'll go to the ground, and then he'll become red and charge along the ground, and then try to do, like, an uppercut kind of move. That's a move he had in X3 as well when he was nearly dead, so, you know, that was consistent. Volt Catfish! Well, it should be Rayclaw based off of X3. Yep. Arr! Arr! Spark Mandrel Syndrome, my best friend. Ow! 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 Yep, Spark Mandrel Syndrome. <laughs> oh, yes! In the corner like the bitch you are! Stupid Volt Catfish. Well, at least this boss rush goes by really quick. Like I said, these parts make the game so much easier. Trust me, you'll want these! It may not sound like it, but you'll actually want these parts. Because, well, what comes up after all the boss rush stuff? Oh, boy. Okay, looks like your weakness is Cry Thunder. Yeah, your weakness is definitely Cry Thunder. Uh -huh. Use your air dashes. They're easier to execute than the, than the ground dashes. Whoop. Excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken... Launch Octopus is a new attack. It's annoying, but I'm not gonna let, let you see it yet. Don't worry, we'll have time to show these off. Trust me, we will. There's gonna be a bonus episode after this. Spoiler warning, but well, there you go. You'll see. Man, thank goodness these parts of this boss rush be even worse. Okay, it makes sense that this would be your weakness. Oh! Oh! Hey! 
Unfortunately, because of its lack of range, it's irritating to hit him with. So, he got Buster Plus, you're better off. See, that's what happens when he, uh, shoots his, ah, flame on the oil slick. It just erupts in a little bit of a flame wall. Now, I did put on Super Recover, and X is healing a lot of health. Which is good. I need it. Let's see. All that's left is, a uh, Wire Sponge. I, was saying, I don't think I have his weakness, because, well, like I said, X is pretty much good with all his weaknesses. All the weaknesses to these bosses. Where Zero, you just... You might have them. Otherwise, you just gotta blindly go for it with your saber. Oh, yeah, this attack's a little different this time. Where before, he just fired three random lightning strikes at spots near you. Well, now... He does it like this. The four that follow close to where you were. How dare you? Um, if you did have a weakness, it would be... It would be the ability from Overdrive Ostrich. So, yeah! Okay, well, it damaged him at least. I should not be wasting Zero's weapon energy, because I'm going to need that. In fact, I might have wasted too much. God damn it! But that's okay. We'll make up for it. All right, then. With that, we're good to go forward. If any of these guys drop weapon energy, I'm going to make sure Zero picks it up. Really? You're going to have a ride armor in a tight corridor? That's not helpful for him. It just makes him feel lonely. There you go, Zero. There you go. All right, we're ready. So, guess what's coming up? It's time for our battle with Sigma, which reminds me, if his weakness is based off of X2, I shouldn't spoil it, I already did. Also, my Giga Crush is ready. I'm going to save that, though. I'm going to save Giga Crush. So here we go. He finally makes his appearance. Hello, Sigma. <laughs> I'm pleased to see you. Now I'll delete your soul forever. It's X2 Sigma! Well, well, ah! Don't use Tri Thunder. Use, um, Launch Octopus's weapon. Which actually works really well in this fight. Because of, well, yeah, the way he fights. Alright then. Otherwise, just use your busters. He's powerful though, so. Oh god. No! He also do this towards the end of the fight. He's like his X2 self, so, you know, try to wipe the floor of them. Now comes the hard part! At least you refill your health. Here we go. It seems that I underestimated you. The playtime is over. Now, I'll bring this to an end. It's the kill time. Here we go! Kaiser Sigma! Oh, believe me, it's about as bad as it is in X3. And this fight is why I recommend you buff Zero and X evenly. You'll see what I mean. Right now, he's invincible. Now he's red! Guess what that means? That means Zero can hurt him. You gotta keep whacking him in order to, you know... Get him to let his guard down, but he's too high, so I can't really hit him right now. Once he's out of his armor, then you can actually hurt him. And once he's blue, then you can use X. You gotta hit him in the face with a charge shot, in particular. I'm pretty sure he does not have a weakness in this fight, so... Yep, you can really only get one shot every time, so... Make sure you make the most of it. This is what you should save your energy tags for. If you don't, you're crazy. But if you got a slash like crazy with zero and X, you just have to keep shooting him in the face. If you don't have your armor, you're going to be in trouble with this. And, well, this fight is also the reason why I have Hyper Dash for X. You know, I should probably just focus on dodging. 
Axe, help! You can dodge. But yep, when it's red, Axe can't damage him. When it's blue, Zero can't damage him. And when he's gold, which he only is at the beginning of the fight, nobody can damage him. So yeah, just a heads up for you. And once he's halfway down, he becomes an even bigger asshole. Now eat that! So now he's gonna start doing more dickish attacks. Like that. Whoa! Oh, 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 help! Hang on, hang on. Have your attacks this fight as well. Also, I forgot. I still have zero final and my Giga Crush. Oh! Oh, and now he starts doing this. He'll stomp down like a dick. No. Just make sure you don't end up under him. And you'll be fine. Okay? Zero final, go! At least... Ah! At least did quick work on... Huh? Help! You know, charging attacks, you gotta keep batting him away. When he does the thing of the green force field in front of him, you gotta bat him away with your attacks. Oh, he is an asshole, this fight. This is definitely the hardest boss fight in the game if you don't know how to deal with the tank. If you know how to deal with the tank. Oh! One more shot. Oh, God. Hang on, hang on. Yeah! Yeah. Thankfully, I remember this fight, because, well, your first time... Oh, and there's this attack. This is why I have the Hyper Dash. Because you just blast the whole screen. Only when you're X, though. Only in X mode. That's why I have Hyper Dash. So X could easily avoid that. Oh, come on, man. That's just bullshit. And you're done! Oh! It's a long, grueling fight, but a satisfying final battle, at least. Ugh! Sigma, you bastard! So you have X2 Sigma, first form, and then you have Kaiser Sigma, or something like Kaiser Sigma. And now we beat him, all the Reploid souls are released. Also, since when do Reploids have souls, elves? God damn it! Are you alright? Zero! Yeah, I am. Hey, look at that! The DNA soul are returning! The hollow reploids will come to light! Is soul plural? I don't think so. <laughs> Probably. Everything is over now. X Zero, the hollow reploids are coming to life one by one! Wow. Iris, rescue the reploids in cooperation! In cooperation? The non-mavericks, you mean? Let's go, Zero! We have to express our thanks to Iris! Right. She was very helpful. I feel sorry that her first job as a maverick hunter was like this. The colonel, I mean colonel, will blame me. The colonel? I believe the experience will be helpful when she returns back to the Reploid Force. Repla Force. Anyway, let's go back! We're done here! Is this the whole reason she went Maverick to begin with? <laughs> but there we go. That is the true end. You go through the entire game, and you get an extra level. That is a boss rush, because, of course, you needed one. At least I didn't have one at the end of each half, so I appreciate that. And then, a Sigma fight. So, you know, it actually made Extreme Mode feel worthwhile. And while, as long as you probably buff, Properly buffed both X and Zero, you'll be fine. Of course, you could try to be crazy and only damage him when he's one color and just dodge him the rest of the time, but that would take even longer. That's why I recommend you buff them both evenly. You want to just super buff one and have them do all the fighting, that's another method, but still, the fact of the matter is they want you to use both. That's why I recommend it. Supreme job! Now that Sigma has been defeated, Real peace has been restored. So now I have a present for you. This is an awesome mode where you fight against eight bosses. How fast can you defeat them? Good luck. Yup. Your final unlockable for beating extreme mode. At least you get an unlockable in this game. It's not just a stupid cutscene. You get the boss attack. It's boss rush. That's right. You get to fight all the eight Mavericks again and try to see how fast you can do it. I believe you get all the attacks with both X and Zero, and 
you have the parts. All of them. So you can equip them to your heart's content. And time does not go up when you're paused, I believe. So, you know, you have plenty of time to prepare yourself. It's really easy. But I like it. And that's actually going to be our bonus episode, surprise, surprise. Because, well, yeah, there's a reason I want to show it off. Because it's actually kind of cool. Anyway, we'll end this episode here. So that was the finale of Mega Man Extreme 2. Oh, man, I forgot. There was a joke I wanted to do with Sigma, but I forgot. It signified the date. <laughs> I'm the terrorist now. Damn you, Sigma, I knew it! What? It's the 20th anniversary. I had to come back. Don't you dare! Don't you dare. Well, now I just did it. My bad. Anyway, thank you all for watching. The Extreme Games are done. However, the bonus episode will be me going over boss attack and give my summary of the Extreme Games and how I compare them to the X-Series. I've said it a bit already, but, well, now the games are complete, I can go into more depth about it. So, see you guys next time for the fun that is the boss attack. It's actually pretty worthwhile mode, you know. It lets you improve your skills and actually get to test out all the weapons of everybody. You get to learn weaknesses and, well, there's a nice little special surprise in there as well. It's actually a bit of a, well, I was going to say faithfulness, that's not right. You'll see. See you guys next time if you're going to come back.